Okay, um, basically, um, we're looking at this program, which I've shown before in other videos, and I add these other three buttons to it, um, you know, which you're probably familiar with on some of my early, earlier videos. Um, why do I have to put these up? Okay, form one. I want that up. Um, okay, but basically, you know, this is the code in the program. Okay, which is pretty simple. Um, if that's the background color, you know, if that's an image to null, if there's a clear button pressed, loads an image, you know, stretches an image. You know, if there's a bitmap in there, um, opens our two other forms that we have in here, which are for our games, you know, which I've already covered in other tutors, uh, other videos. And then we have these buttons right here. Which demonstrate the get pixel and set pixel or put pixel, get pixel and set pixel methods. So, but uh, basically, I have to extract it into a bitmap to work with it. So, run the program here. Okay, then as you've probably seen, anyway, you know, you set the background um, to the image, but you can, you know, load picture either off your hard drive or from the internet, like what we'll do here. that for some fucking reason. <sighs> God, a bunch of bullshit. Okay, copy image address. That's probably doing the wrong thing. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what the fuck was going on there with that big fucking bullshit. But at any rate, um, so, you know, you download a picture off the internet and stretch it out. But if you hit your button, you know, um, you know, it's selecting a location like up somewhere around here and, and setting it. But if you click with the mouse, Okay, I'm now changing the, uh, now, by the way, this may not work, I don't think it works properly in stretched mode, so, um, you know, when the image is stretched, it's not, it's still not, I, I still haven't figured out how to actually go in there and, um, pull information out of the, uh, I mean, you know, save the the uh, what you see in the picture box as a as a bitmap, you know, I know you could do that in in the old days, but then again, you really didn't need to go through a lot of this bullshit in the old days. And see, if you click outside that bitmap, it fucking freaks out on you. Um, but at any rate, you know, the the point is is that you know, I go and 
grab a bitmap because this just works on the fucking bitmap object these days. Um, again, it was a lot more straightforward than CB6. Um, but at any rate, you know, I'm able to do a get pixel. I set that button's back color to that pixel at 50 50, you know, sample location. God help you if you upload a, you know, smaller bitmap than that. Um, but then we got the picture box mouse click event, which I had to go in, you know, and basically set it as a, you know, bitmap uh, image here um, from our picture box. And then I basically use the E as our mouse args, you know, E dot X and E dot Y to get our, you know, mouse location, you know, where I'm clicking. And then it does a get pixel um, on, which is a function of our bitmap. So, so I'm setting a clear button dot back color equal to the pixel color that we select. And then I'm also, for shits and giggles, going my bit map set pixel at 40 40 you know equals clear button dot back color so you know, there is a set pixel so um, in fact I could make it a little more pronounced than that um, I suppose so it's easier to see shit popping up all over the fucking place. Um, okay, but anyway, let's just run that and see what happens with it. <coughs> Picture. See what the fuck is this? Oh, oh, that was what I was copying. Ah, shit. Um. Okay. <sighs> okay. Copy image address. Okay, so basically, you know, as long as I'm clicking on a pixel, now I don't really see anything changing up here. Because again, I would think it's oh yeah, it's not changing because it's changing on the bitmap. I would have to actually go, um, you know, I'd have to actually go reload the bitmap that we're altering back into the picture object um, before you could see it. So, um, let me pause the program and see if we can get away with changing it under its nose, so to speak. Um, yeah, set pixel. So, I'd have to go, let's see, picture box one dot image equals our bitmap. Damn it. Let's see if that works. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you can see a little cursor right there. See? See the see little blob there? <laughs> so that's the uh, altered bitmap that we had to re-upload to the image. But, you know, the point is, is that, you know, because I, I just noticed, you know, that, like I said, you know, you can draw in, like, circles and lines and shit, but you can't really draw in points, and you could very easily, I mean, all these methods in VB6 were actually part of the picture box control, or, or you could do it on forms, too. Um, you know, you could draw circles and lines and stuff, but you could also use the get pixel and set pixel method, because there was a default, like, bitmap, um, you know, for a lot of these controls, particularly a picture box or an image control or whatever it was, um, it was they had a lightweight version of the picture box, so, but you know the the heavyweight version was had more 
functionality to it. But at any rate, you know, they had a foreground and a background bitmap, so to speak, and, you know, you could actually draw on the controls. <coughs> okay, but it would say it was like a foreground bitmap, but then, you know, you had a background bitmap that actually wasn't drawn on until you saved the foreground bitmap to the bat background. But it doesn't appear to work that way anymore, so... Um, but again, it was like working as a, a back buffer, you know, uh, so you had like a back layer and a top layer, but you're always drawing the top layer, not the back layer. So anyway, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this does have some fun similar functionality buried in there somewhere, but I just haven't discovered it yet. So anyway, 